Well, hello, folks out there in YouTube land. Got a big show lined up for you, and it's a lot of crap going on out there. Let's get into Alice and what's going on with the world. All right, let's pull up this screen. We got Mr. Alice, I to the L to the U to the S, Mighty Alice. And Alice is struggling today, and along with the rest of the market, it's pretty much been a kind of a crash day, really. And let's talk about why Alice dropped and do a little update. First of all, as you know, oil skyrocketed last night to 130 bucks a barrel, and I covered it in my last uh, video of a Humble, and it's awful. And we're going to have all kinds of, we've got tons of inflation anyway, okay? It's way higher than 7.5%. That's nonsense. It's probably 12 to 15, and it's probably going to go higher because realize not only does oil affect everything, but also we're going to have a problem with food prices because wheat and fertilizer come out of Ukraine and Russia. And how are they going to be able to even plant crops out there with all this crap going on? So Russia has just caused nothing but trouble. They're nothing but trouble. And they used to be that way in the 80s in the Cold War. Well, they've come back. Here they are again, and they're nothing but trouble. And it's unfortunate. I'm sure the Russian people aren't happy either, or at least most of them. But one person's got to have his way, or else the world's got to suffer. It's just, I don't, I don't need to be going down this path. I'm going to start using profanity. Not happy with this guy. But anyway, let's take a look at Alice today. And Alice has dropped big time by 20%. And this is no shock. If you'll remember, we were covering it here at 10 cents. And I told you, I said, there's probably going to be some people make, take some profit here. And understand, this is a stock that day traders freaking love, okay? They talk about it all the time. If you follow any of the day traders, man, they're all about Alice. And why? Here's why. Look at this volatility. And they, they realize day traders don't give a crap if it goes up or if it goes down. What they do care about is how quickly it goes up and down. And Alice is super freaking volatile. Again, look at this stock. I mean, it just has gone up and down like, I mean, that's perfect for a day trader. Something that goes way up and crashes way down, then goes way back up and da, 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 da. they love that because they don't care a bit to short this stock. They'll buy it at 10 cents and then they'll short the crap out of it at 20. And if you don't think so, look at the short volume. It's up to around 50%. So they're shorting the crap out of it. Back when it was lower, it was at 30%, 24%, 22. It gets higher and it more than doubles in volume on shorts because they're playing it both ways. They buy it at 10, sell it at 20, and then short the crap out of it. And nothing's changed for Alice. All they've done, they announced they're going to um, be part of this world's largest fire and rescue convention. We watched their emerging markets uh, video with J.P. Backwell the other day, and I did a video on that. So really nothing's changed to speak of with ILIS. We're still waiting on, well, actually, pull up a few things. We're waiting on this European deal, and he spoke to that quite a bit in that emerging market uh, conference. And they said they're getting very close on that. We're still waiting on the share uh, reduction and getting an update. That's ticking me off. I want to see that updated on the OTC markets. I'm tired of seeing November freaking 24th. Update the damn thing. Ten possible acquisitions. We know about that. Uplist four to seven months. Actually, probably three to six now. With no reverse split, they're going to be doing spinoffs, obviously. Probably one of which will be this big European deal. They're working on another nine-figure deal in, in the United States. They're using their preferred and restricted shares in their acquisitions, which is typical of an OTC stock. That way they hold on to their money. And uh, my understanding is that they are restricted for about two years. We know all about the water mist technology, and that's going to be a fantastic, that's, that's in a fantastic uh, patented technology. We know about the discussions with Tesla, the Vera drones, the possible $60 million sale. They're, they're in talks with about pre-orders on that. And as always, the smartest thing that Nick Link did in a letter to the shareholders back April 5th, my holding company holds 390 million common shares, all the preferred A, D, and E, and we have not sold a share and do not have plans to sell any. Our interests are mutually aligned. That's the smartest thing the guy's done since I've watched this stock. And they've done a lot of really smart things, but this one's number one. So to me, this is nothing but profit-taking in shorts, and uh, so be it. 
like I said, and I was, look, I'd been one of the ones that took profit had my dad gum order gone through my Roth. I bought down here in my regular account and I tried to do the order with my Roth. I thought it went through, but it didn't because I would have sold right there. I told you, I said, I would have sold it a double, been happy to do so. And then I'd have bought again as it pulled back down. And I'm not touching my regular account. All the shares I have there, I'm just going to leave alone for various reasons. I think this thing looks good long term, but I do want to trade this volatility and I could have doubled right there and I'm it just makes it that much worse so anyway if it does pull back down here again I'm all over it like a duck on a June bug so that's what's going on with Alice but in the world it's just nothing but a freaking nightmare right now I mean you just you can't believe it it's it's a lot like this we got no food we got no jobs our pets heads are falling off that's right our freaking pets heads are falling off everything is just ridiculous but anyway that's hey that's life in the OTC is what it is. You're going to have a lot of volatility. It's one of the reasons people love it. And that's Alice today. Just a little update. Like I said, I, I can't see anything that's really changed other than people taking profit. And uh, like I said, I'll be watching it closely. If it pulls down some more, I'm all over it. But, you know, that's me. You do what you want. It's your money. But I like Alice long term. And if you like this content, be sure to hit that like button. Let's me know to continue to cover I to the L to the U to the S. And we'll see you next time on Mr. Frugal Investor. And subscribe if you want to. See you.